Bible study. Tonight we're going to sing, I hope it's built on nothing less, number 438, after Amory gives us a brief message. And before that we'll sing number 234, Higher Ground. focuses in on 
is that God is great and awesome. That statement right there just points to the trust he has in God. His understanding that God controls. That has control over all. And that's one thing that we should consider for tonight. And in that same verse, he says that God keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments. So God is faithful to us as long as we are faithful to him. And then later on in his prayer, he talks about the sins of the Jewish nation and how they turned their back against God. But if they just turn back to God and let, let God rule their lives, then God will take them in. So that's the same thing. That's another thing that we should focus on tonight, is that are we faithful to God? Are we living a life that He wants us to live? And the last thing it says in verse 6 and later on in verse 11. Verse 6 it says, Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer of your servant that I now pray before you day and night for the people of Israel, your servants. So the last thing is that God is listening. We pray to God because we know that He's listening. Um, that's kind of the nature of prayer. It's we're trying to talk to someone, some, someone because we know that they're listening. So that's the last thing that we have to understand is that we have to understand that God is listening. In verse 11, it says He says the same thing, basically. He says, O oh Lord, let your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and to the prayer of your servants who delight to fear your name and give success to your servant today and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. So Nehemiah is praying for the for hope and uh, a better situation that the Jewish people can be in. He's praying for, for those people and he's praying uh, for for a sense of restoration and hope. So we have to understand that God is listening for our, our needs and our desires and that He is listening. So three things is that we have to understand that God is, is powerful and He is great and awesome. And the second thing is that He is faithful as long as we are faithful to Him. And that last thing, He is listening. He's always listening to us. So we have to understand as the invitation is being offered that we have to understand these things. And if you are a Christian, or even if you are a Christian and, and have fallen away, or if you have not become a Christian, please understand these things because I mean, I'm very young, but I've always heard people say the older you get, you know, the more, uh, the more you have to understand these things because time is short. So if you have any needs or if you... If you have anything on your mind, please please let us know. Uh, I speak from personal experience, uh, and few people here know that the last couple of years have been kind of tough for me after uh, after the loss of mom and everything. And, uh, so please let us. Uh, I didn't mean to bring the, bring in that personal information, but just I guess I'm just speaking uh, from personal experience. Uh, if you have anything on your mind, if, if you need to be listened to, or if you need to bring your life back, please come forward as we stand and sing. <clears throat> My hope is to God and be blessed, and Jesus Lord and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest name, but holy be on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock.
here this evening. Hopefully, you've all benefited from the Bible classes and the time being together. Also, opening us for the rest of this week. Especially thank the visitors for taking the time to be with us. And you are your encouragement to us, and we thank you for that. Our, our next meeting time, if you're able to join us, is Sunday morning, 9 a.m. for Bible class and 10 a.m. for worship. I have a couple announcements here I'd, I'd like to make. Um, first, looking, make sure you grab a bulletin. There's a list there of notes that we need to give, keep in our prayers. Uh, a list of the sick and, and those that, that are needing of, of prayer and have some prayer requests. One of those on the list is for Susan, Susan Cottle's mother, Joyce Harmon. It says that, that she had a heart attack. I just want to clarify, it was a irregular heartbeat that she had, but they, they do have it under control now. She should be discharged from the hospital tomorrow, so we wanted to clarify that for you. I have a, another announcement here that asks for prayers. Please pray for the family of Elgin Wells, Serena Grogan's violin teacher, who was killed in an airplane show accident this morning in summer. So we keep them and their family in prayers going through that, that very challenging time. Again, make sure you grab an announcement, the, the, the bulletin for some of these announcements. You know, there's a lot of work going on right now to plan for VEAP and guests. Please take the time to register for that. Um, and then there's some other things you can look at there. Let's close the prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for being an awesome and great God that, that we can come to. Father, that is always constant, always there for us, always. We know that, that you always keep your promises and, and you are a faithful God to us. And Father, we are so thankful for that. We thank, we're thankful that we can be with others of like faith, like mind, family of God here that we can study your word together and we can approach you and that we know that you are always listening to us and you are, you are always there for us and we are so thankful for that. Father, please be with those that we announce, those that we have been praying for. Please comfort them and heal them and help us to do everything that we can to, to assist them through these times. Please be with the efforts here. May we continue to spread your word. May others grow in faith through your word. And may more glory be given to you. Please be with us through the rest of this week. This year, and in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen.